On the uh, lift here is a uh, 1985 uh, Honda Shadow 1100 and um, it's been sitting for several years and I want to get it running again and possibly get rid of it. Uh, so basically today I'm just doing a, a visual inspection of the bike and uh, I know it's going to have an electrical battery problem which probably needs a new battery and I think it has a, uh, I know it's going to have a fuel system problem but I think it also has a fuel pump, a broken fuel pump. So today I think I'm just going to focus on um, looking at looking over the the fuel system and possibly for this video just showing everyone you know people new to motorcycling will find this interesting it's got a fake gas tank uh, where the gas tank should be uh, the gas tank is actually under the seat so maybe get down to the gas tank and um, possibly look inside of it if if uh, if I can get that far today so let's take this off I need to get the battery off and uh, When you take uh, terminals off a battery, it's always better to take the negative off first because um, uh, if you if you take the positive off first and your tool that you're using grounds on, on or grounds out on the frame, it can cause a, a spark short out the battery. But if you take the negative off first, yeah, that can't happen. And then you just reverse the uh, installation. Jeez, this won't come off. And now I need to uh, move the uh, the camera. On the uh, back of the seat here, uh, I think you need to remove these two Allen bolts to get the the seat. The back the there's the seat is is two parts, and this back section, I believe these have to come out for it to come off. This bike was manufactured in a time during a time when Harley Davidson was having uh, financial problems and they almost went out of business. And this was Honda's uh, solution to end Harley Davidson for good. And that's what this bike, when I see one, represents to me. Um, sort of like a, a weapon to sink Harley Davidson, but didn't work. Now I can uh, lift this back part of the seat off. Honda put these uh, little plastic inserts into these Allen bolts for the rear part of the seat. I don't want to lose those. Um, now this comes off. Oh.
part of the seat is gone. This is a, the top of the bike. Uh, this is the what you would think was a gas tank here, uh, but actually the majority of the fuel is held down here under the seat in this uh, uh, gas tank. So I need to get this fake tank off, I'm pretty sure. So these come out. Honda did that to uh, lower the center of gravity to make the bike feel lighter and handle better. But uh, did a lot of trick things to this bike to make it outshine the Harley V-Twin, but V-Twin powered motorcycles, but it didn't work. It just didn't have that, uh, I don't know, Harley, Harley bikes had something that uh, Honda could not duplicate. I can't remember if... Oh, I need to take that off. However, uh, most of the fuel is held here, but you do put the fuel into the fake gas tank, which can store some fuel, and it flows down and into this thing. In the back here, which um, I don't know if you can see, see up in there, there's a couple of fuel lines, uh, regular like what you would expect, fuel lines, vent tubes, but there's one big like hose, garden hose uh, line that's uh, meant to transfer the fuel from this fake tank to the uh, real tank under the seat. So I need to... Um, get those off and I don't think I don't think um, I'm going to be able to film it so uh, I'll be back actually I, I think I can film it I was, I was able to prop up the front of the bike or the gas tank or the fake gas tank um, this was just held on with a with a um, uh, clamp with a traditional uh, screwdriver which was surprised me it always surprised me when I, I find a use for one of these if you notice how these have just dropped out of uh, the traditional screwdriver you just don't use them anymore except for maybe prying stuff um, I remember when they used to use them on uh, old classic motorcycles and I, you'd need one for taking the side cases off and uh, you always had problems with stripping them and damaging the head of the, the, the screw. And then this one. I need a pair of pliers for that one. I think this, uh, these uh, hoses are stock. Somebody's been in here. Right there. If I can do this with one hand, 
You know what? I need to turn the camera. I don't want to drop this tank, so... So there's the uh, three hose, hoses that connected to the bottom of the tank and uh, the two connectors I just removed. Um, not sure. Maybe take this side thing off. Oh yeah, there it goes. That's where it goes into the tank. I got one of those, um... Oh, it's leaking. Look at that. The petcock. Wow, they put that there. That's weird. Um... I bet that thing is, uh, dirty. I'm gonna get one of those. I got one of those uh, those cameras with the, with the you know the long thing that goes into places where you can't see. I want to see what the inside of this tank looks like. So let me go get that and find some batteries for it. So let's get this uh, red hose off. Um, on second thought, I think maybe this is the stock uh, hose because it kind of fits the it's shaped right. And I know a lot of this stuff now is not available from Honda parts for this bike, but I think the um, I think the electric fuel pump is still available from them. doesn't look good. And let me get the other camera. So here's the uh, the camera I'll be using. Uh, it's, it's a Harbor Freight one. And um, boy it smells like gas is old gas smell. Uh, I'm gonna use this. I can record with this so I'm gonna grab the video from this and record it and insert it uh, uh, right here. You know what, I'll, I'll put, I put what I recorded, but on second thought, I'm not sticking this, uh, I'm afraid I'm going to ruin this if I stick it in there. And plus it won't, it won't fit because it, I didn't realize that this end, this non-bendable end won't pass this, this turn here, I don't think. And I don't want to scrape the crud that's on the inside of the gas tank on this camera. But I do want to say one thing about this uh, Harbor Freight camera, I like it. But it is, um, the batteries that they sell at a Harbor Freight are complete junk. Uh, they're just low capacity junk, especially the cheap ones that they, they always see on sale, like the five bucks, four bucks for a pack of 24. I just put four new batteries in here and, um, you can see that the, uh, capacity, it's already, it already shows it's half down. And they haven't been in here more than, um, I haven't had this thing on more than five minutes. But anyway, um, I think I'm going to end the video here. I think what I need to do is um, I'm going to have to remove this gas tank, and I think it's going to require removing the swing arm, the drive shaft, the rear wheel, and the rear fender, and uh, 
and uh, get it out of here and clean everything up. I'm pretty sure this petcock is is uh, it's leaking, but I think it's also um, plugged up with gum gummed up. Uh, I can smell the gas. Gas. The smells terrible. So. I guess that, that's what I'll be doing for the next few videos. So anyway, thanks for watching.